All right, so some folks are having issues with getting Undead Legacy installed and working correctly. Uh, so I'm going to go over how I manually install this. Um, the first thing that we need to do is we need to go to your Steam library. And for some reason it closed it for me. You do that by usually by double clicking your Steam icon down in the system tray. Which is yeah. Next, right click on seven days to die in your game list. Go to manage with the mouse and then select browse local files. That will bring this up. Hold down the control button on your keyboard and hit A, that will select everything. Then right click and select copy. At this point, go to wherever you intend to copy this to to install the mod. In this case, I have a folder right here. Now I'm going to get rid of this real quick and recopy it over. All right, now this process here takes approximately two minutes, around 11 gigabytes. It slows down for a brief period of time before it finishes. And it's copied. Now, uh, go to ul.subquake.com slash download. Uh, typically you're going to want the latest stable version. So you cl uh, left click on that. Tell it where to save it. As I've already got it downloaded, I will go there. Double left click to bring it up. minimize the browser okay a common mistake people will make uh, is they will try to drag this just as it is over here or into their mods folder you don't do that double left click on it and that will open up all these files like this hold down your shift key well left click on Weapon X up top here. Then hold on down shift and left click on the last file, which is WinHTTP. While still holding shift, left click again to drag. And then drop that into the same place you just copied seven days. While we're doing this, it's worth mentioning if you have a pre-existing mods folder in here before you do this go in there and empty it you do not want any other mods alongside uh, Undead Legacy uh, if you insist on adding mods to it my suggestion to you is to get it running to the point where you load into a game without them first and then add them one by one afterwards. That way you can load in and see if they cause problems. And you will know if they do which one or which ones cause those problems and you can fix it without a huge headache after the fact. Okay, now that this is all copied, uh, there, you have two options in order to, to actually run the game. Number one, you can select 7 days to die.exe in the folder with your mouse and then right click and send to uh, desktop to create a shortcut like any other game would put on there. Uh, the second option that you've got which is slightly more complicated but which I always do is I add this to Steam and it is not entirely straightforward so we will go through that now. Um, Go back to your Steam library, and up 
towards the top, you'll see where it says Steam, View, Friends, Games, and Help. Select Games with the mouse, and left-click on Add a non-Steam game to my library. Now, this is obviously a Steam game, but it is a mod. This will come up once you click on that. Take your mouse, go down to Browse, and then show it where your new folder is in this case here and this new folder that we've made. Select 7 days to die.exe with your mouse and then left click open and you should see it up here. Then you go to add selected programs. I'm going to search for this. Wow. Okay, I'm going to clean this up. Now to be sure that it's the one that you've done, yeah, see, it shows it right in that folder. You should only have one, so, all right. What you will see is this, after you've done that, typically, and if you don't see it, go into the search bar in your games and put the number seven in there and you'll find it. Go to properties, by right-clicking right on it and going to Properties instead of Manage like we did before. And then up here, where it says 7 Days to Die, you can left-click in there and add something that says, hey, this is Undead Legacy. And I like to put the version of the game that it's for. And then just click in any other box and it will be fine. At this point, you should be good to go. Uh, the reason I add it to Steam is threefold. Number one, it retains the Steam UI, you know, for things like screenshots and uh, for joining games through the Steam Friends List, uh, which is something that some people commonly want to do. Um, another thing that it will do is it will continue to track your time in the game. Uh, when you click, the, uh, when you play this, I'll show you real quick. This is our new, new folder, but you notice how it said that regu the regular install is running, right? It's not. It's the second copy that we just made, that is. But because it's the same e game uh, that's already installed, it sees it as that one. It's not actually doing anything to your original game. It's completely separate. So don't worry about that part. And here we are. And you should be good to go. It is recommended to do a random world. Uh, do not use uh, a pre-gen world or a or Navis gain if you want a lot of the points of interest and features of Undead Legacy to be there. And as we are now done, uh, that concludes uh, the process.